Hello guys, welcome back to Everything Technology. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on my CTE Sapphire LTE. And yes, I got this from my brother recently. And he got it from... Uh, he got this from the friend who gave me the Pixie Knight and the Samsung Gravity. So putting these two aside. So let me give you some things. It has a nice texture back. And it's pretty thick. Compare that with... This thing. Which is newer than... This is, this is newer, this is newer than this, so, I'm going to show you, this is pretty thick by comparison, this is like one of the thinnest phones I have in my collection, putting that aside. It has a front facing camera. It has a LED light. Has it's from Q-Link. Has a 1,500 milliamp hour. I think 1,600 to be exact. Has a micro SD card slot for those micro SD cards. Sorry about last week's video. I didn't have one. So it's good to be back. So, it has three physical buttons rather than, since I'm recording not on my H any, oh, can't get it. Which has soft buttons on the screen. Okay, putting my tinny aside. Now let's get into some stuff you can do on here. When I got this thing, it came with Android 7.1. 711 Nougat It'll lower the exposure a little bit Too high Okay, that's perfect exposure This screen only has 8 gigs of storage, but since this is like a mini budget phone, I won't, I won't blame it. This thing has, has all the usual stuff you would see in a phone, has micro USB, your volume buttons. Your individual volume buttons. What was I thinking? Your individual volume buttons here. And you have your power button. Why could they not just text strip the power button up? So you can. Sorry, it's raining outside. This thing has some cool features. It actually it's just a generic Android phone with cool stuff. 